Whenever you or I catch a harmful virus or bacteria, we call upon our highly advanced immune systems to target the pathogen for destruction so we can stay healthy and safe. But animals aren't the only living things with a strong immune defense. Plants often protect themselves from predators like herbivores and insects by secreting specially designed toxic proteins called lectins into their leaves, fruits, and seeds. Once inside the animal, these lectin proteins cause a range of harmful symptoms, from gastrointestinal discomfort to nerve damage or even death thereby deterring the hungry predator from eating the plant. Lectins can be thought of as natural insecticides. They work by attaching themselves to specific areas inside an organism's body, much like how burdock seeds stick to your clothes. But rather than cotton garments, lectins bind to molecules of sugar. Since all the cells in your body are covered in a glycocalyx, or a complex network of proteins and sugars, Many plant lectins, when ingested, will adhere to your own cells, tissues, and organs. It was first discovered that lectins can bind human cells in 1945 by a scientist named William Boyd. During an experiment with lima beans, he found that the bean lectins stuck together the red blood cells of people with blood types A and AB, but not types B or O. Since this first discovery, thousands more lectins have been identified in a variety of legumes, beans, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, and even meats. Like the unsuspecting insect eating a lectin-rich seed, humans consume lectins every day without realizing it. Most of the time, plant lectins don't pose a major threat to our health. But like the smaller creatures, some lectins actually can be a major source of trouble in humans. The lectins we find in common foods are much less toxic, but they often express their effects in a variety of symptoms. In the 1980s, Dr. Peter Diadamo expanded upon the research of William Boyd and detected all of the foods we eat which contain blood type specific lectins. In his clinical trials, he found that patients were able to alleviate a number of chronic health problems simply by avoiding these troublesome foods. The lectins he observed were causing inflammation both systematically and in targeted areas of the body, like the joints, skin, stomach, brain, and thyroid. So by following a blood type specific diet, his patients may dramatically improve from diseases like fibromyalgia, arthritis, psoriasis, hypothyroidism, colitis, and many others. Not all lectins are harmful. Some lectins are specific at targeting cancer cells, while other lectins bind together pathogens like yeast and bacteria, aiding the immune system for their destruction and disposal. This just goes to show how individualized nutrition and supplementation are critical for achieving peak health. To find out which foods contain lectins that you should avoid and which foods are best suited for optimal health, get a copy of Eat Right for Your Type or Live Right for Your Type both available on foryourtype.com or Amazon and many other booksellers. Don't forget to check out diadamo.com for tutorials, recipes, health protocols, individual food values, weight loss tips, and much more. As science continues to recognize the importance of personalized health care, be on the side that's already ahead. Diadamo Personalized Nutrition, where your food is your medicine.